Today I'm going to talk to you about the Xena GeneSet Viewer, which provides a visual comparison of pathways over public genomic cancer uh, sample data. So uh, first of all, this, all this work is based on the Xena Functional Genomics Explorer, which is a platform for genomic exploration of tumor samples. It allows you to explore uh, the background of cancer tumor samples, looking at uh, copy various genes and copy number mutations, phenotypes, um, gene expression, uh, anything you can load up into a TSV file. You can slice and dice it in a variety of different ways and resort columns. Um, looking at at a very tissue level uh, view across all these different uh, different uh, 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 types of data. So one of the things you can't do is compare pathways across or within cohorts. So to that aim, we built the Xena the Xena Gene Set Viewer, which analyzes genes across and within cohorts. So there's a couple ways to do it. You can go directly to the tool itself, or you can load the viewer from binary data uh, within within the genus set uh, within the explorer tool. Um, and in this case, the two different sets of samples get loaded as sub cohorts uh, within the uh, within the tool. Um, so in this case, we're looking at BPA gene expression. So the tool itself um, is this is on a on a loop. Um, so basically, you can edit cohorts in any manner you want, edit sub cohorts in any manner you want. Um, as you look at the tool, you can drill down into individual gene sets, um, change uh, the analyses. In this case, we're looking at copy number mutation and uh, so, uh, and copy number uh, variation and somatic mutation. You can see that as you hover over, you get to see the different hits. Um, here we're going back to the original tool. You look, click on the gene set variation tool that shows you the analyses that are available. You click into it. Um, you can scroll down and hover over the individual samples and the gene set samples. Um, so again, there are two sort of two modes: gene expression, and there's three analyses available with that, and CNV mutation analyses. With the gene expression analyses, you see um, the uh, gene sets that have the most differentially expressed um, uh, values for depending on the analysis technique. Um, and there are 33 uh, DCGA cancer tumor cohorts available to view. Um, as you're doing the gene expression, as you saw in the video, you can scroll down. So if you have 200, you can scroll through all 200. You can hover over the individual gene sets or the gene samples to see the individual score. Um, and, and in the gene view, when you drill down, you can see you can compare the differences across individual genes to see how those end up being sorted out as well. Um, switching over to copy number plus mutation, it's the same thing. You, you have a comparison uh, analysis comparison between the two, um, and you hover over to get individual scores. Um, and except for the big differences, when you look in, you can see individual um, uh, somatic mutation or uh, copy number variation uh, hits, in this case, CNV deletion and missense and uh, mutations. So as you said, the interface for selecting subcohorts looks like this. The number of samples per subcohort is shown. Um, you can do the same or different cohorts, depending on what you want, and change the analyses uh, in this view here as well. Gene set editor, this is going to change a little bit, but the idea is you can build out your own gene set or select, say, gene sets that target a specific pathway. Um, this works that we're simplifying the user interface to make it a little more usable for, for most useful users. Um, so our next steps is we want to further integrate so we can actually view all of one side of the of the student set viewer in the Explorer itself. So it'll help uh, simplify uh, getting back and forth between the views. We're going to add additional gene sets and analyses. Um, they come through. Uh, more importantly, we want to be able to do on the fly edition of analyzed gene sets. So if you have a set of gene sets right now, uh, typically we would have to analyze them offline. Now we want to do this on the fly, as well as improve uh, integrated pathways using Go. So I just want to stay, thank the Stuart and Ben's labs at UCSC, uh, Laurent Philippe at the Go, and Susie Lewis uh, from Lawrence Berkeley, who has been my mentor on this and helped get this started. Thank you.